if the college has to stand as an icon of dissemination, then certainly the library should be the heart of it, where the lecturers will get the information that they will disseminate. The learners themselves will go to the library and get that information that they will disseminate. Even the administrators, all management styles will always be sourced out from the library. That's why for an institution of learning, the library should form the heart of all its operations. Where I work, it's a teacher training college, so it's mainly academic, academic work and at the end of the day, for an academic college, they want their students to excel. So as a library, you have to be positioned to make sure that goal comes to pass. So the library being a place where you can find information, where students can come and find and do their research. Uh, in that sense, it becomes the heart of the college because without information, the students are not going to be able to pass the exams or interact in any other way. So you make sure the library is a focal point for academic excellence, for social and intellectual interaction. But apart from the academic aspects, we, we put some things which they can read, like novels, newspapers, some magazines which we can afford, so that these students have an all-round perspective in their learning and they can easily go out there and succeed. It's very important that institutions invest in the library since it forms the core of the services of that institution. The library interacts with students and teachers through use of technology. Because students come in the library to use the technology that is available to get what they want. As an ICT specialist, I will assist the library to make sure that uh, their computers are working properly. Two, to make sure that we download and have enough references for the lecturers and the learners. At the same time, to solicit information from the learners themselves, from the lecturers themselves, what content would they like, so that it can be downloaded, then uploaded to the computers in the library, so that whoever goes there, the lecturers or the learners, when they go to the library, they can now have the resources they want, and therefore it will be now almost a man mandatory for them to come, because they know what they want is there. As a teacher, it is very important to visit the library, especially if you want to prepare a lesson plan, because in the library you get all the information that you need, you contact the librarian, he or she gives you the information you want, then it becomes easy to get a better content that you can give to the learners. I have a course unit that I teach, like a AutoCAD, automated computer design. You find almost there's no hard copy in the book. So the librarian has helped me so much to get some offline and online resources of those books which I used in the class and I gave assignments and which made actually my students when they went again to the library to practice using the equipment they were very successful and they were enjoying so much. The 
the new library is used by students so much. It is so user friendly because it is conducive. It is a space is it's well spaced. Seats are enough, so students really like it and use it very much. A nice library enables us to make enough research. It helps us in keeping ourselves updated on national and international issues. Secondly, it enables us to how to be equipped with enough knowledge in making research, in coursework, and fulfilling our obligations as students through consulting the books kept in the library and fulfilling the obligation of doing our coursework in time. The ICT department, together with the library, we can even post relevant information to the emails of the different students and the emails of the different lecturers, relevant to their course, relevant to their area of specialization. Every beginning of uh, an academic year, we try to do what they call uh, an orientation program. We're able to take them through how to access materials from the library, how to borrow a book, how to uh, be an ethical user, and how to uh, find the answers to questions that uh, they will require in the assignments. The, the library users are different. There's those who like quiet time, there's those who want to discuss a bit, there's those who want to watch some videos. So you create a conducive environment for these people so that when they come, even in that small space or with the few resources you have, they feel comfortable and they, they gain something from there. They feel free to explore and interact.